Hi there guys, this is Mikhil from Creditech. In this video, I am going to show you the list of must-have apps on your La TV, La One S. So guys, if you have any more suggestions or recommendations, do let me know by commenting below this video. So guys, let's get started. So guys, these are the list of apps that I have compiled for specifically for this device and I hope you would really use them. So guys, first are just some wallpaper apps. So this is a free app called as Background. So guys, this is just a background application. So you have all these wallpapers and you can simply select any wallpaper. You can either download it or set it as your default wallpaper or your lock screen wallpaper. So you have different categories. So you have featured images, daily popular images, weekly popular images, and you even have an entire category of wallpapers. So this is something really nice and for free. So guys, the next app is Minima. This is actually a paid app. It costs you like a dollar. So this is the theme manager and these are all the themes. This is a live wallpaper and you get this nice cool effects with material design. Apart from the inbuilt themes, you can also download themes from their online repository. In this online repository, we have some nice wallpapers like Batman, Superman and even MKBHD. We even have the minions, Angry Bird, Pikachu, Pokemon Wall. So just give it a try. The app is not for free but it's definitely worth it. So guys, the next app is App Dialer. So guys, this is the App Dialer and it and it basically allows you to easily access any app. So for example, this is my App Dialer and I have about 100 apps or more than 100 apps installed. So it is very hard to search through the entire app drawer for a single app, even if they are arranged in an alphabetical order. So in that situation, App Dialer really helps me out. So if I want to open MX Player, I can simply search for MX by pressing 6 and 9 and I get MX Player. If you're not comfortable using the T9 keyboard, you can always switch to QWERTY keyboard. But this method is very fast. You can even change the theme of this app to dark or warm. So guys, if I want to open Google Play Store, I can search for play by pressing 7, 5 and 2 and there we have it, Play Store. And it is that easy to access or open any applications using MX Player. So guys, these are some note taking apps. Well, they are not arranged in the proper order. All these apps are actually free. Keep is a note taking app from Google. If you have any small notes then use Google Keep and on Google Keep you can easily share your notes with anyone using a Gmail account or maybe even with other accounts but on the whole Google Keep is very useful if you have small amount of information and if you want to quickly share that. Next we have Evernote. So if you have a little more information and you want to organize it into maybe pages and books then Evernote is for you. So you have extensions and applications for all the platforms. So you have extensions for Google Chrome, Firefox and other browsers. You have applications for both Windows and Mac. So you can basically keep all your notes no matter where you go. The third thing is OneNote which is by Microsoft. They have recently made it completely free. And if you want to save a large amount of notes, your class notes or, or if you want to organize huge amount of information, personal information, then OneNote is for you. And in terms of features and flexibility, OneNote is really the best. But if you want something like, go for Google Keep and Evernote. So guys, going on next, we have Truecaller, which is an online repository of phone numbers. So to access its repository, firstly, you need to register with them. And once you register them, they will have access to your contacts. They will copy all of your contacts. And in the same way, they will copy everyone's contacts who have registered with them. And using those contact lists, they will try to find out unknown numbers. They also take feedback from their users about spam callers or any useless calls and they will notify us if we enable those features. It also comes with spam blockers option. Additionally, if you don't want to share your list of contacts with Truecaller, you can also do that. So guys, these are the two browsers that I definitely install on any Android device. So the first one is a link bubble, which opens any web page in a small bubble, just like the Facebook chat head. So if I try to open this link using the link bubble, now you can see that there's a small bubble on the left side of the screen. So once it loads up, we can check out the web page. So in this way we can check multiple web pages or load multiple web pages on the site and do whatever we want. And once we want to check out those web pages, we can simply go to the link bubble. So these are the two tabs that I've opened. So if I want to close this particular tab, I can simply swipe it down, just select it and I get these three options. So these are two shortcuts. This is to close the bubble. So I can simply throw it down and it will close that tab. And if I want to share it, I can simply swipe it to the right and I'll get this share option. I can also choose to open the particular web page in a default browser. So guys, the next app or the next browser is Firefox. Google Chrome works really well, but it doesn't have any features like ad blocker. 
so i use firefox to install ad blocker plugins and to browse the web so guys next we have pocket so if you are browsing any article and if you want to have a offline copy of that article pocket is for you you can just send the link or push the link to pocket or share a link with pocket and this application will copy the entire content of the web page and makes it available for you to read it offline so just give it a try so guys the next app is called as gsam battery monitor and i use this app on every android device to see how the battery drains or how quickly the device gets charged and if my battery drop very drastically i use this app to monitor which apps are causing that drain so it gives us this nice graph kind of a representation and if you can see this is the standby time actually the horizontal line so on the standby when i was not using the device there wasn't a lot of change in the battery life so that's something really nice to know so i can get this kind of information using this battery monitor app next we have the automated app so usually to save battery i do stuff like turning off wi-fi and bluetooth during night time maybe 12 to 7 i even turn off sync at night time and automatically enable wi-fi and bluetooth every day morning at 7 so i do all these kinds of automation tasks just because i'm lazy and to save battery life just because i'm lazy and to save battery life so guys going on next we have airdroid so this is your web based pc suit using this application you can back up your contacts add new contacts back up all your messages check your call logs and do a lot of stuff so you need to just open this url and you'll find a qr code over there you just press this button and scan the qr code and once you do that your browser window will become a pc suit for your phone you can mirror your notifications directly to your web browser and you can even reply to messages using your web browser so it's a pretty cool app to have on any android device going on next we have tsf shell which is my favorite launcher and currently the default home launcher on this device so it has got tons of animations tons of transitions and my personal favorite thing is the lasso mode i hope i spelled it right so just double tap on the screen and the lasso mode is enabled now i can simply drag or select any icons and now i can arrange them or else i can simply create a folder and put all those shortcuts in the folder so it's a really cool way to interact with all your shortcuts so guys this is called tsf shell and the other best thing is that we can sort all the applications based on the time that they were installed I usually install a lot of applications and if they are all arranged in alphabetical order, I don't know which application I have recently installed. For that reason the most, I use this launcher. So guys, just give it a try, you will definitely be very happy with this launcher. It will simply amaze you in a lot of ways that you can't even imagine. But that said, it's a little bit power hungry. So guys, the next app is Cam Scanner. So this is, ba so this is basically a document scanner app. So just for the demonstration, let me take a picture. So we have this Western Digital box in front of us. So I'm just going to take this picture. So once I take this picture, it gives me the option to crop the area where there is text. So let me just do that. Now it is cropping the area where there is text and it simply enhances the text. And I can save this version of the text. I can also tweak this image, make it completely in black and white and do other cool stuff so definitely a must have app on your phone it will definitely replace your short term needs for a scanner and it's definitely a better alternative for your normal camera app so the next app is called power toggles and this is how it basically looks this is just the settings interface so on the notification bar we don't have any toggles in our la tv and as we are usually accustomed to find notification toggles over here I find myself more than 100 times always going to the notification area to enable few toggles. So for that reason I have used this app and now I have these toggles. So I have the toggle for enabling sync, Wi-Fi, location and I have some more over here. So this is the Bluetooth and brightness. There are actually two sliders we can configure them according to our preferences. So you can either use the toggles or you can even have your own shortcuts. So this is for slider 1 and this is for row 2 slider 2. And these are the notification toggles available so definitely give it a try so guys that's definitely a must-have app at least on this device the next app is O, which is a very simple and beautiful timer once again an app that i use on every android device it's very simple elegant beautiful and does the work that it's supposed to do so guys next app is imo which i've been using very recently 
and I use it mainly to make video calls and the video quality and audio quality are pretty good. So guys these are the two keyboard apps. So the first one is the swift key and let me just enable that. And this is how the keyboard looks and you have a lot of themes to change the entire look of the theme. If you are someone who uses the swipe feature a lot then use swift key. This is by far the best keyboard app with swift functionality. The auto correction works really well. So if you are someone who wants more than a swipe feature on their keyboard then touchpad X will definitely satisfy you. So guys this is how the keyboard looks and like other keyboard apps we even have the different themes for this and swipe works without any problem but it isn't as accurate as swift key. So let me just show you. And there you have it. And apart from that you have this nice gestures. So if I want to enter numbers I can simply swipe up from here. And apart from that we have navigation keys. So we can simply navigate through the keys or select all the text and do a copy or we can cut the text and we can even paste them and apart from that we even have a clipboard manager and recently they have added the option to expand text so let's say I am very lazy to enter my mail id every now and then so I am going to give it a shortcut as mid so whenever I press mid I will get the option to enter my email id so this keyboard app has so many cool features that it will take you a lot of time to get used to all of them. So guys the next app is ttorrent which has been my favorite torrent client for a few years now. Well if you want to download torrents on your phone then this is the app to go. You can put all your torrents by default in a specific folder and move all the completed torrents to a specific folder and you can choose to download torrents only using the Wi-Fi or along with the mobile data. So it has once again tons of options. It is one of the few torrent clients that works really well. So guys the next app is share it using which you can share your files, images, videos, anything from your phone to any other device having the same share it app. So guys I personally don't use this share it app. I use ES file explorer a lot more than this but most of my friends use this so that's why I have it on my device and I'm pretty sure most of your friends use the same too. So guys the next app is gallery vault as the name suggests it's an app that can be used to hide information like images videos files zip files basically any kind of file the best thing about it is you can hide all your files in individual folders and export them to a specific folder or else export all your hidden files to an external sd card or your otg pen drive all at once so it has these kind of cool options and we have both the free version and the pro version on the free version you can save up to 80 files so guys the next app in our list is es file explorer this is an all-in-one and one-in-all app. You can literally do anything and everything using this app. You can browse the internet, back up your apps, uninstall your apps, share files using this app and do a lot of stuff. So just give it a try. So guys the next app is PowerAmp and this is by far the most famous media player app in the Google Play Store. Just give it a try. Once again it has a lot of customization options, tweaks, equalizer and this is how its settings panel looks. So you have a lot of presets and as I've said once again tons of customization. So guys the next app on our list is Hotshield. If some of the websites that you are access are being blocked by your maybe government policies then this is the app to use. Earlier I used to use another app but it stopped working and this is the app and it works really well. It basically takes all your traffic through a VPN and gives you access to any blocked website. So this is how the app looks once you open it up and you need to simply press this connect button to make it work. The next app is Opera Max and and this is how it looks. If you want to save data while browsing using your mobile data then this is the app to use. You can use this app over your mobile data and Wi-Fi and you have the option to manage apps. So using this app you can control which apps have access to internet and which don't. So if you want to block internet access to any particular application make sure you use this app and disable that app in the app management. This once again also works based on the principle of VPN. So all your traffic comes through the Opera Max VPN where it gets compressed and on your phone it gets decompressed. So guys these are the two media players that you can use to watch videos on your device. So my default option is always MX player and if I want to watch any video in slow motion then I use VLC media player. I use it specifically to watch trailers. Next we have swipe pad. For a device as big as this we can't easily access the navigation buttons and we can't always go to home to switch between apps. So this is the swipe pad and as you can see this red area this is a trigger for the swipe pad. So when I swipe my finger from this edge I get this pad or shortcuts. So I can simply place my finger on any of these pads and release and the app over there will be launched. 
So let me just show you that once again. So this is the trigger area and when I swipe my finger from here, I get access to all my favorite shortcuts. And as of now, I have only configured app dialer. And now once app dialer is open, I can open any app that I want very easily. So ES Explorer. So it is that easy and I don't need to go to the home screen to switch between apps. So guys, the next app is Textra. The stock messaging app on this device isn't that good. So I use this Textra app. It has three unique features apart from changing themes. So firstly, we can mark all the messages as read. Next, we can select any particular conversation and block it completely, like adding it to a blacklist or a block list. We have the same feature even in the stock messaging app. Next thing is that we can disable notifications from this particular contact. By doing that, whenever I get a message from that particular contact, I won't receive a notification. So guys, these are the three apps that comes pre-installed and out of which you should definitely use Google Photos. You have the option to upload all your images at high quality for free of cost to your Google account. And once you upload all your images, it will create some awesome movies and animations which is the only app that can use your infrared sensor. So using this app, you can control your television or AC using the infrared sensor. So there you have it guys. These are the list of 25 must have apps on your La TV La One S. So if you have any doubts, do let me know by commenting below this video. And I'm sorry to rush the last few apps because it was taking too long. So if you found this video to be helpful, give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this.